Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing great in your life. In this video, I'm going to be sharing five data science resources that are absolutely free and they have a certification aligned with it as well. So if you want to go for a certification, this is the best resource you can get. And the fact that it is free and all of these certification are by Coursera. So Coursera has not sponsored this video. I am creating it on my own because I love their resources. So you don't have to worry about it that I am uh, doing any kind of collaboration here. This video has no paid collaboration with Coursera about Coursera is that it is uh, it is giving financial aid to those who want to learn uh, and grow in the field so if you want someone who is willing to grow in data science you are absolutely welcome by Coursera and you can learn those resources on your own and at your own pace so yeah let's get into it so one of the questions that I get asked by my subscriber most of the time is they have applied for financial aid through Coursera but they are not getting full financial aid. After the completion of course when they are requesting for a certificate, Coursera is asking for money. So the reason behind that was they have not applied for full financial aid. So how can you apply for full financial aid on Coursera? So what you can do is there is a one line above on top while applying through financial aid. So you need to make that line zero. So what happens is when you are applying through financial aid, you just don't check that line and you just apply through uh, financial aid. And that's what happens with you. You don't get the full financial aid. What Coursera does is it uh, provides you with the 90% scholarship and they ask for 10%. But if you are not willing to or, or not able to play, pay the 10% of the fee as well, so you can do is... Uh, make it completely zero and go for the financial aid so that is something that you need to do and that's how you can get full financial aid on coursera and they have amazing courses trust me because i've followed their content a lot in my initial days of learning data analysis and data science as well so i hope you found this video helpful and without any further ado let's get started so number one certification on my list by coursera is excel skill for business specialization and why i love it so much so Excel is something that is required by every industry that you work for. In IT industry, it is one of the most prominent skills. And if you want to be a product manager in your company, because product manager is one of the highest paying skill. So they require only one skill knowledge, which is Excel. And my manager is already working on Excel a lot of times. And his Excel skills are so great that I sometimes get jealous of him and I just want to learn all of the skills that he knows and he create awesome tables, awesome dynamic dashboards that I'm completely fond so of. If you're planning to enter into IT, the one skill that you need to learn the most is Excel obviously because of the fact that your manager looks at your Excel sheet every single day and they will just know that how great you are in Excel and Excel skills are truly very important if you're working into IT profession because of the fact that you are going to create a lot of visualization chart, a lot of bar graphs, a lot of things that you want to analyze. And if you do it very well, you are going to get very ahead in your career. Make sure you follow all the resources in this particular certificate and complete the certification as well. So next skill on my list is SQL for data science. And I cannot emphasize less on the fact that SQL is the prominent skill to become a data analyst or data science professional. And if you're planning to become a data analyst, you have to master SQL. SQL is not something that you can get rid of while planning to become a data analyst. And SQL is something that is required in every industry if you are working as a data analyst. And even if you're an HR data analyst, you're going to need SQL as well. Well, if you don't know what SQL is, it's structured query language designed to interact with the databases. Just like we interact with each other through English or Hindi, it's a kind of language that database uses to interact with other platforms. So if you're preparing for the, your interview, you are going to ask questions a lot on SQL and most of your interview on data analyst role would be dependent on how good are you on a SQL skill. So make sure you learn all of the group by having state. So the next thing on my list is Python for data science by Coursera. And if you're it's a beginner the skills and a lot of times you will find a little bit difficulty while going through this course and i know because python is not the 
easy if you think so and final for data science is something that need a lot of time and you need to be really really patient while learning the skills but don't give up because this is one of the most important skills for being a data science professional and if you're thinking of becoming a data engineer data analyst a lot of times python is asked and you will need to know the libraries of it which is numpy matplotlib c1 all of these you need to know and you need to be really really proficient into it so make sure you go through the entire course for python for data science and don't skip the quizzes which are li little bit tougher than you think of i'm sure you're going to get a lot out of it so the next certification on my list is ibm data science course Last but not least is machine learning with Python. So I hope you don't follow this course right now if you have not completed the Python for data science course because it is one of the advanced course by Coursera and if you have no knowledge over Python you are not going to get any help through this course. So if you have not completed that Python for data science course certification by Coursera do not jump right into it because it will be of no use you are going to get really stuck and it is one of the advanced certification so it will be really really confusing for you all so i hope you practice the python for data science certification before you apply for this one when i was going through it i had no idea what machine learning is and how does it works and how important it is in ai so so i've provided all of the resources link in the description box below you might want to check it out and if you want to uh, go for a paid certification you can go by uh, data science course certification in the udemy they have made a lot of data science uh, certification and they does not cost much around 500 rupees and you are going to get a lot of knowledge through it so i have referred to these courses as well and i found them very very useful for me and i hope you check that out as well and yeah, this was it for this video. I hope you found this video. If you have any query, suggestion or doubt, you can write in the comment section below. And if you want to suggest me uh, anything related to next video, that you can also write in the comment section below. I highly appreciate your time in writing such comments and it really matters to me.